Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm talking a little softly, or I guess softer, um, because William is right beside me. Um, we're not nice here as of right now. I just got here a couple minutes ago at 7.47. Um, he's chilling there. We just got here, not him. Yeah, uh, he's been here for like nine hours now, if not even longer. Um, that blue tube, you see that? Tucker, can you put blue tube you see over there that's his catheter um he has his weighted blanket then he has his thermo blanket uh this thing you see right here i'm trying not to touch it but it's his iv the donnie's covering the can you Ooh. boom that's the rest of his iv um that's his little itty bitty head <laughs> and there's his breathing tube contraption thing and his other machines are there Including with his meds. So, um, William currently is on about 48 meds. No, 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 not 48. Blah, blah, blah. 38 meds. Does it um, make a difference? Yes, it does. <laughs> That's 10 higher. Uh, he's on 38 meds as of right now. Um, we're hoping that goes down soon because, uh, excuse me, uh, <laughs> 38 is telling me. <laughs> um, so, we're, we've been chilling up in here. Um, William is still asleep in the coma. His eyes are open, Woo, but he's still in the coma. Because my mm -hmm. sister's eyes were open while being in a coma. Chili's eyes are still open and Sophie's eyes, and yet their comas were months long. Yeah. Uh, my sister's was only about almost a week. So I'm hoping that happens. To William, uh, his coma is only like a week long, uh, cause as you know, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, which I'll be celebrating with him, um, obviously, I love him, uh, he's been chilling here, uh, if you can't see, I think you can see his tiny yarn, We nope, here Tucker, can you look at the camera, that thin bit thing right there, Whoa, you see his hand through the little water pump. Whoa, that's so cool. Um, this is close up of his hands. See him? This is feeding tube extension. He has, he has a trike if you can't see it there. He has mustache hair. Um, <laughs> and then he has like a little postcard and then Two chucks pads there, one chucks pad there, one chucks pad there. He's like two chucks, like four or five chucks pads. Um, there's his mat or later earlier for that. There's his long breathing too. There's his, some medication on his bed. It's here, and there's his bathroom supplies with all his catheters. Woo! This Tucker can put. Yep. This is his food bag. That's a black tube that goes into there. Um, this is his catheter bag. And this is our setup. The hospital trash can. Because, as you know, we're professional YouTubers here. Um, but, and they provided a, a snack station too. So. That's exciting. I sound so not excited. I wonder why. They, they um, brought us a snack station. That's so cool. That's so exciting. Yay. <laughs> Even though. Oh, damn. That is just going crazy. Okay, anyway, um. We're now in the ICU with William ready to face another big, huge hurdle in my life. Um. We were still in the ICU before we yep. we had to get moved to a new one because William was it was an, farther our away. Our ICU wasn't as intense. No, no, no. It was no. just surgery, and normally, and the reason why we go to the ICU is because oh, we're all medically complex ahead of it. And exophagus surgery is one of those surgeries that will put us in the ICU. Yeah, uh, not for a bad reason because we're always expecting it. We could easily go to the ICU twelve times a year and not even think about it without any complications. Uh, but we are now in a higher, more intensified ICU. For locked-in people yeah. or 
coma patients. Uh, oh, hold up, people, flash enough. People, go ahead. Yeah, this actually is for people who are in critically ill care, like spinal cord injuries, getting over like a coma, you know, recovering from one. Yep. You know, it's just for people who have like severe needs of disability and stuff. Yes, for as of right now, um, which is so fun, right? Well, um. Which isn't really the funnest thing to do, obviously. Never the funnest thing to do. My God, no. no. Um, I don't know how long William's going to be in here. They said that, I don't know what they, he fractured yet. We'll have to get that information in like about a day or two. I don't know yet, as of right now. Um, the, Donnie did tell me, I don't know if you guys saw the Tech Now story, uh, that, or maybe I didn't include it, but not that screenshot, but yeah, he told me, the doctor said he broke a vertebrae, like, in his waist, or, mm -hmm. you know, in the lumbar region, so he must, most likely, or in the T, so if you broke the T vertebrae, he might have breathing issues, like, need a tracheostomy, he has and, that. and have hands, like, a quadri, I call them quad That's hands. why we couldn't visit him, because he was getting his tracheostomy yeah. and including... And quad hands, that's what I call them, quad hands, mine are bended, quadriplegic, quad hands, like, you know, yep. quad hands still, but just bended. Bigger. <laughs> and, like, you know, paralyzed legs. He'll be a quad if he broke something in his teeth, right, right? Or, and if he broke something in his neck, he'll, he'll most likely be able to breathe on his own. Yep. Which sounds crazy. But he'll most likely, if he broke his C6, just say that, for example, yep. he might most likely breathe on his own, just need to try gas me for a while, like, call mm -hmm. Uh, so, um, most likely he'll be able to set club hands, not be able to use his triceps, not able to feel anything under the forearm, and not, like, he's able to use his arms, but he won't be able to flex his tricep. Dang. And he won't be able to feel from the nipple down. Wow. Like this here, either here. Holy no, shit. Either from the top of the nipple, so basically the armpit. Yep. That. Oh my god. He won't be able to feel that. But, like I said, that's just from Cole's experience. I, I'm not a C, I, I, I don't know, C4, C5, C8. Yeah, I'm not a C6, I'm a C4, C5, C8. Okay, that has a lot of things. I'm a I'm quadriplegic. Not, I'm, not I'm paralyzed from the neck. Yeah, I'm a quadriplegic, but I'm paralyzed from the thigh down. That was because of something I was born, quote unquote, born with. Don't know what really happened in that sense, because I had I my biological family me. for two years, and they never ever told me what had Who happened while I was paralyzed from half the leg down, but now I'm paralyzed from a uh, half thigh down because of damage in the nerves over the course of years, having spent in my psychiatry. Things contributed to my me being paralyzed from, like, the midway thigh down all the way to my toes. Um, I can feel from my... Uh, thigh, my hips, my chest, my arms, everything my above neck, the my thigh. hand, everything above around here, like half that. I can feel everything above my belly button. Nice. So I can feel more than Doc does. So, so I, I can feel the cushion under my I butt. I can't feel my cushions. I can't feel even. I can even feel the bottom part of my straps. But I know wow. what they feel like because they're on the upper portion. I can feel. Yeah. I would not be able to feel ten times more because <laughs> of without the initial therapies, I would not be able to feel from the shoulder down. Damn. Shoulder? Oh god. Down. Um and so she can feel from here down. It's <laughs> what she can feel. It's what she'll be able to feel. Wow. If I didn't get the therapy. Yeah, let me look on that Instagram. So we basically regained function of my f sensation, so I wouldn't be able to feel my arms when they're, like, uncomfortable or something. But no, I can feel them. As of right now, when I'm filming this, because this takes a while to export and edit, yep. William's been a, in a coma for 10 hours, um, which is insane. Almost half a day. Yeah, so... <laughs> God. Yeah, he's been in a coma for about 10 hours now, um... Which is honestly insane. Like, I really can't believe that. Um, yeah. but... We're chilling right here. Um, we're all by his side, uh, obviously. Um... 
we honestly don't have much to say. We've just been chilling here and getting together, I guess, for as friends and everything. We're just taking it easy tonight and calm. And, Cause we all know that we need it as of right now. Yep. Um, so yeah. Thank you for watching this little vlog. Uh, this is the beginning of William's journey. Yep. Uh, of being injured. We'll see memories as we go along and post more updates. Yep. I, we didn't post many updates about Evie's. Uh, no big dummies. We posted some. We done a 20 minute video on weakness of me and then no, her being paralyzed. A, we did post a documentary which sucked. I don't talk about that documentary. Do you mind if I do? Oh, I don't want a long, long video. Basically, the music kept glitching. Yeah. And it kept one I can screw. the video was super low quality and audio. I don't know why. I hated that. Yeah. I, I wish the documentary. I love the documentary. It was well edited. It was. Uh, and, but the music glitched and our crappy phone. I did. I, they're, they're all fun. Um, but. But I still enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was I going to say? We all enjoyed the memories and. Yeah, we all enjoyed the memories, including. We've done one video about like four or five months ago. No, not five months ago. It's not been that long. <laughs> like two months ago. Then we got her spinal cord injury thing. December 14th, 2023. Tomorrow it will hit her two month anniversary. Ah, oh, from having spinal cord injury. So that video was around almost two months ago. Um. Thinking. Which we said paralyzed, which. Including, Amy talked about how she became paralyzed and everything. So you can watch that video at some point uh, in time. And then we made one video on my doc's camera. My doc's? My sister's camera. I'm sorry, that was weird. Uh, my sister's camera where she was like, she wasn't doing well. And she was like one or two days in when that video was filmed. Because uh, it was a six day coma. But then yeah. I've made... We made Instagram posts on our Instagram and everything, so when these YouTube videos go out there... Like, delayed, since it takes a yeah. while to edit and increase audio and you know, all that stuff. It gets delayed over the course of time, so... Yeah. Just like our softest surgery videos, since we film them on one certain day and they mm -hmm. get published three to two days after, and you're like, what? Yeah. But no, that's editing and putting them together. Yep, so... Thank you so much for watching. William, I hope you recover soon. Love you, baby. Bye, guys.